Hello friends, welcome to Unity 3D Teacher Tutorial. In this tutorial, we are going to see how to use the Ionic Source Add. So, just open the Ionic Source Add Network and log in with your account. So, this is the account. So, now we are going to grab SDK. So, let's go for SDK for Unity. So, search for Unity plugin in integration and then you can download the plugin. Okay. So once you download the plugin, so go to the project and search for import custom package and then import the package. I mean import the plugin. Okay. So I don't need a demo scene, so I'm just trying checking that and then click on import. Just hold on a while, your file has been importing, so it has done now. So, this is a policy privacy policy system. So, just click on add. Okay, once it's done, just go for main camera. If you see, let's go for build. Okay, so switch to add a platform. Hold on a while while your project is converting from PC to Android format. Okay, it has been done now. So it will ask for a lot of dependencies. So depending upon your Android version and then your minimum version, maximum version, libraries will be added automatically to your project. So you don't want to worry about that so it will take care automatically it will take a little bit time just hold on a minute okay okay it has been done now so now click go to the just enter the company name and the product name so i'm just having unity 3d teacher as a company name so it will resolve in one more time because we changed the company name okay it has been done now so make sure that uh, you want to be make sure that which type of resolution you occur so I am going with portrait so choose your resolution okay next let's create a script to call your uh, add net add uh, types okay 
so i'm going to create a yeah, class it's going to call different types of ad formats for answers okay so just navigate to the bottom so that you can able to find in it so we are going to initialize that dynixos.age.init with app key okay so go to the dashboard and find your app key so it's nothing but you can create app not live and then make android and then select for if it is under 13 and click on save once it has been done just search for uh, a yeah, reward ad and then interstitial and then banner ad so make sure that you turn on the test ad like this okay so copy that and place to over here so now you can able to see that uh, ad is initialized at the void start so next we are going to init the banner so i am going to call the banner first so let's grab the script from the knowledge center so before that i am going to get that function called invoke maybe wait for some seconds before invoking the banner at the start function okay so go to the knowledge center of ansos and then search for banner so this is a code just copy the code paste over it inixos.agent.load banner banner size and then banner position let's have top okay so it will call after four seconds once your app is loaded so next we have next type of ad format is called full screen ad okay so let's initialize load full screen ad function so this is a common term you can use any name so there is no record to use exactly same because it's a function so next we are going to have two types one was to load a full screen once it's loaded you can call your show full screen so that's why we have a two functions show full screen i have public reference because i'm going to call from button okay so invoke load full screen let's uh difference again for this okay so in load screen we are going to have uh, the load things so this is a banner types banner large rectangle so you can choose which one so let's go for interstitial and then search for a code to load a banner so this is that this is a small line iron source dot age dot load banner load interstitial and then show interstitial so this that's it we are trying to load and once it's loaded we are going to show it so let's create some ui okay we have a panel with some color okay so 
so this is going to be a load this is going to call load full screen so button load full screen okay after that we are going to have show full screen button since we are use we have done portrait in build settings so i am going portrait design for the ui okay so this is going to show the status of your full screen and so it will show that either it's loaded or low unloaded whatever unable to find those okay so let's have waiting okay so we want to call that load and show okay make sure that you have a public for load script full screen also so that you can be able to call in button okay load full screen and then show full screen it has been done now everything is perfect okay so next we have one more reading called reward ad so reward status reward editing and then reward status and then we are going to have buttons show reward okay perfect so next we will call you show reward okay before that you want to create a script so similar like banner and full screen we are going to initialize that reward also so reward there is no load only show actually so i am going to call uh, get this to check whether it is loaded so reward function goes here public void show reward so we are good checking is whether uh, it's loaded or not add is loaded i mean reward add is loaded or not okay so let's check at the starting and we are going to show that status in the text okay so let's have unit engine.ua in order to call a text okay So just pass the test to that reward to check a reward boolean is available or not let's make to two strings since it uh, it is a boolean type or a type so we are going to have two strings okay i'm going to call once the banner is initiated and also i believe uh, this is fine okay maybe even we can have an update function also because it will load anytime so we want to get a status at any time so what i'm doing that i'm going to show each and every second whether reward is loaded or not okay 
so just try and drop the text okay so show reward is going to be just a single line hold on a second let me check for oh, yeah and source dot age agent dot show reward so that's it so call this with the button so if you like to if you have a specific ad format you can just have a different things with your placement id so it's your choice so i'm using a common ad id if you have different ad id for reward banner you can do that so that's it so once you call that reward in a button you can bill for it so let's see how it will work in mobile device most probably okay so let's i'm maybe i can try with nox i have a nox player it's like a android emulator okay i believe we can it's better to check in mobile so that you can feel what exactly you are getting so let's wait for a build okay and then we can check in mobile that is a better thing for this system so that you can able to feel what's happening with it so inix source is like a ad network you can even promote your ads and you can able to do as a monetization manager so it's like a both for provider and also a for a developer so you can use for any formats it's a it's a one of a good ad network after ad mob it will be like a good ad network provider definitely you can try with 100 percent fill rate they're providing okay fine let's check it out in so this is the app we have built it so if you see you can able to see the banner ads so we'll try to show the full screen ad okay so that's it next we'll see reward so the reward as ad is playing now so almost all the advertisement network type which we used for our project has been shown here so everything has been built and everything is working fine so you can able to see that video ad is working fine so everything is test ad so if you switch on the test ad once you made app live you can able to see a live ads so make sure that you use a test ads while testing don't use a live ads otherwise your account will be blocked by ionic source so that's it so thanks for watching and please subscribe us thank you